thousands of gallons of crude oil are oozing into the Louisiana Make no Coastal mistake. Water. We will do whatever's necessary. But whatever's in fact, necessary. this is a crisis. Yes, I'm just a commercial fisherman. Oh, my whole Gulf life Coast. is based on this. Have we brought in the best and the brightest of all the minds that could deal with this? Team Crucial from Louisiana. Crucial played an important role in providing equipment to clean up the Gulf and prevent long-lasting ecological disaster. The Deepwater Horizon oil spill was the largest in U.S. history. You haven't been on an oil spill till you had to wash your hair with Gojo. And when you have oil leaking out, out of your ears all day long, that, that's when you can say you've been on an oil spill. We put a lot of simple practicality in our units. We want something that somebody could work on with simple hand tools. No electronics, no computers needed to run anything. You gotta have something that you can put out in the Gulf when there's a spill and have it work and make it work. And I think that's what we have. Easy to set up, one piece, you tow it behind your boat, you're done. We would love to win this. It would be a, you know, a great accomplishment to bring this back to Louisiana. An oleophilic skimmer utilizes a surface to where oil will stick and water will run off like water off of a duck's back. The more surface area you have, the more you can recover. So the hairy-like coating that we put on these discs multiplies the surface area by thousands. The prototype unit that we made went out on rent for the uh, BP spill. We kept asking for numbers to see what kind of recovery rates we were getting, and uh, the only thing I remember getting was an order for 12 of them. The challenge of 2,500 gallons per minute is a lofty goal, but uh, that's the challenge. You gotta learn quick and take your best shot. Hey, Wally, you sure do have a pretty smile. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start our first wave test. We're doing a wave, y'all ready? ready? Start your engine. The one skimmer that we had were used discs, and the other skimmer had new discs. These older discs we used in the oil spill that was down last year in, in the Gulf. We're picking up a little bit more water with the older discs than the newer coated discs. So if you go over there, you see there's much more on the new ones. Oh yeah. We have discs that we could swap out tonight, but the risk is we got to be ready to go tomorrow morning. To tow. I'm ready if you are. Uh... We had the mishap with the, uh, the control knob. <laughs> what the hell's wrong? The pitch screw came loose in the knob and the knob came off in my hand. I couldn't start the disc. There's nothing you can worry about. We got three runs left. Tighten that screw and start her up. The pumps can't keep up with it. The discs were recovering more than the pumps could pump. We probably have more pumping power if we can get the disc speed up. We gotta figure out how we can get the disc to turn fast. We tightened up our line so everything looks good. I don't think any problems at all. Keep the faith, baby, keep the faith. Start them up, start your engine. The wind seemed like it was cooperating with us, didn't have any breakdown, any issues. We put our best foot forward. We did everything that we possibly could do. I think we did well. That's a wrap. It's been a pleasure. Good job. No, we gave it our best shot, and we'll see what happens. No, we're not as pretty as the rest. We're not as shiny. We don't have all of the bells and whistles, but our numbers should speak for ourselves.